So, Google is making a bold move with the upcoming Pixel 10 and Pixel 10 Pro, introducing substantial hardware changes that could redefine its flagship smartphones. At the core of this transformation is the new Tensor Mobile G5 chipset, marking a major milestone in Google's processor development. But what impact will this shift have on the Pixel 10 series, and how will it influence performance? Slated for a fall release, the Pixel 10 Pro and its standard counterpart are expected to introduce key advancements, particularly in the camera department. While the base Pixel 10 remains a premium device, it will serve as the most budget-friendly model in Google's flagship lineup, competing directly with the iPhone 16 and Galaxy S24. However, what sets it apart is the introduction of a triple-lens main camera, a first in this category. Most triple-camera configurations include a dedicated telephoto lens, but Google faces a strategic dilemma. The Pixel 10 Pro will continue to feature a periscope-style telephoto lens with 5 times optical zoom, so Google may opt for a more modest 2 times or 3 times telephoto lens on the standard Pixel 10. This would give the device a distinct advantage over the iPhone 16 and Galaxy S24, making it a standout choice for photography enthusiasts. It also positions the Pixel 10 as a direct competitor to Apple's iPhone 16e. Beyond camera enhancements, the Pixel 10 series will debut the Tensor Mobile G5, marking a major shift in Google's silicon development. Since the introduction of the first Tensor G1 with the Pixel 6, each new Pixel has been accompanied by a chipset upgrade. However, the Tensor G5 isn't just an incremental improvement, it represents a complete departure from previous designs. Unlike its predecessors, which were manufactured by Samsung Foundry, the G5 will be produced by TSMC. This transition allows Google to shift from a 4 nanometer to a 3 nanometer process, delivering better energy efficiency and enhanced performance. Additionally, Google is moving away from the Exynos-based architecture used in earlier Tensor chips, taking greater control over its hardware stack. Rather than competing on sheer processing power, Google's Tensor lineup remains focused on AI-driven efficiency. So, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Pixel 10 Pro? Drop your opinions in the comments below, and as always, I'll catch you in my next video.